G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and today I want to look at um, double piston extenders. Now a lot of the uh, one wide double piston extenders I have to apologize. Um, first of all I wanted to uh, let you know that this is as complicated as it is, this is as compact as I could get it. Um, if we didn't have to worry about this block, this is all we would need. Um, and I th actually thought I had discovered this until I saw very similar versions done by other people, and then I, I thought, damn. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not here to to mope about that. It's happened to me so many times where I've thought I discovered something and then found someone else had done the same thing. But um, what I have here is my double piston extender. So it extends and retracts. One wide, and yeah. So let's have a look at how to build this. Um, I'll leave a download as well, just in case you can't keep up with um, how this is built. Let's build this from the ground up. This is about 12 blocks long from what I recall. And um, I'll go up higher than the other one. So we go about here. No. Yeah. This is our, um, our early... This is this part here. We're starting with the monostable circuit. Um, this is what um, is needed for the, the final bit of a oomph to grab that bit. <laughs> And um, so I'm showing you that first, just so there's no confusion. And put a, a torch there. Uh, redstone there either side, and a torch up there. Then you want to put a, a repeater on there. Doesn't There's no need for a delay there, it's just to send the, pic, the signal into that block and then over the top turn that off. Now this is usually off by default but we'll wait till the rest of the signal comes through before that happens. Now, no, so this is the bottom row so you don't need to necessarily have that all there. But we don't need any more of this actually. And from here on we don't need any of that. But I was just putting it there as a, as a ground base. So next we place a um, piece of redstone there and then two above that we place a torch on a block. Um, I hope you can see it over there, so it's a bit of a, um, a giveaway that what we're doing. I'll put, I'll, like I said, I'll leave the, a, a download link just so you can um, make this or play with it for yourself um, and things like that. Whatever you really want to do, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. And um, keep in mind, like I was looking into the the matter because this was a, a question. Uh, this is based on a question that one of my sus subscribers. Um, had for me, and um, there are probably a lot of other designs similar to this. I can imagine there would be, um, mostly because I realise there's not many ways to go about doing this, and <laughs> I'll look at look it up after this one, just to find out if I really was original or not. But pretty much, I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, uh, hang on, let me put this one back on. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> and um, also be aware that the uh, input needs to be inverted. And we've, we're done, pretty much. Now we just need to put our ground on. And that's pretty much it. So let's put a lever on there. I've tried to do this really quickly, mostly because my last tutorial I did, my chicken farm, was <laughs> 25 minutes long. So it's up and down. Pretty simple. Um, uh, yeah, not really simple, but it's um, one wide as requested and it's as complicated, it's complicated as compact as, um, as I could put it. Um, but thanks for watching guys. I hope you can, um, can use this and uh, let me know if you can compact this further. I'd love to see anyone who's able to, I mean I'm not talking about like one or two blocks, that, that doesn't really matter, but if you're able to make this in a nice, sleek, small design, then yeah, please let me know, feel free to leave me a message. Um, but thanks for watching guys, I'm Steve-O, and I will catch you later. See you later. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.